Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. And as you all know, it's barrel scraping season. And with barrel scraping comes conversations about the future of the show, speculation, and such forth. And we have Blake Horstman, star and former star of Bachelorette, La Bachelor in Paradise, and also All-Star Shore, weighs in on the Bachelor franchise. And he has to say this. He says, I think the show we know it at, uh, we know it as is definitely done. So we're going to get into all of his comments regarding The Bachelor, and you guys can let me know if you agree or disagree. And also on today's Bachelor Rush Hour podcast, there was a fun discussion that was happening on the Reddit that said, who has made a career off The Bachelor without ever appearing on a Bachelor show? They mentioned Jess Ambrose and a few others, and my name obviously comes up in this topic. And I said, you know what, guys? If you have any questions you want to ask, I'll cover them today as far as making a career following The Bachelor without the sort of verified blessing of the franchise and all that comes with it. So here are the questions that were asked, uh, specifically for me. Where does the money come from? What are your main revenue sources? How how difficult is it to keep them up? What's your most lucrative endeavor? Do you pay contestants when you work with them? How much? How much are you bringing in from Bachelor content versus other content? These are all really great questions. I'm going to answer them as as kind of like open as I can. And then the other question was, since you've branched out to Vanderpump Rules and other reality shows, have you seen an increase in viewers ad revenue? And um, I'm going to get to all of that. So stick around for the podcast. That'll come out this afternoon. I usually have it up by 3 p.m. East Coast noon uh, west coast time and we'll get to that also my tickets for my new york comedy club stand-up show tuesday june 6 are now on sale if you use the code bitch you can actually get the tickets i think half off i've already got a ton of people buying those let's see if we sell that out all right so here's blake let's get into blake's story here he says i'm sick as freak and going to be in bed all day. Let's do some cues and entertain me. I think I think nobody does the engagement, the Q&As better than Blake Horstman. He just has a way of talking about his experience on the show. And we have to remember, he was just sued for, I, I'm, I'm struggling to remember, was it $100,000 $100, or so? So anyway, um, we're going to get into his Q&A. And someone said, my best friend and I want to do the stairs of death. You and G did. Tips? He says, um, things my girlfriend say when taking her on a hike. Good luck. It's so hard, honestly, but the but it's too awesome. Also, don't forget the trip down the back is long too, so be prepared. Yeah, there's nothing worse than hiking a new setup that's not exactly, like you don't know how long it's going to be. And you're like, I thought this was like a fun one hour thing. And then we get wine after and we're seven hours in. So some questions, is he hung over? He says, I wish this was a hangover. I always get home and I'm on the verge of getting sick, but I feel so guilty with all the drinking and eating. I push myself real hard at the gym, two workouts a day. And then I get sick, need to learn to rest. Oh my gosh. He's doing two workouts a day. That's absolutely wild. Um, okay. So anyway, Let's go to his comments, and he mentions Vanderpump Finale. We'll discuss this before The Bachelor. He said, we watch... Oh, let's go back one here. He said, we watched last night, and yeah, it was pretty brutal. Some definite jaw-dropping moments. Okay, so if you haven't watched Vanderpump Rules, I've been covering it on just about everybody's been watching this scenario. The st One of the stars of the show, Tom Sandoval, cheated on his longtime girlfriend, Ariana, with Ariana's best friend. It is, co it of course, is blown up in his face, and, um, you know, it has led to, you know, people going to mental health treatment facilities and this and that. So here's what Blake had to say. Listen, what Raquel and Tom did was awful, and the hate right now is mostly deserved, except death threats. Those never are. What makes me sad is thinking about seven years from now, when Raquel is married and walking her child down the street, some a-hole stranger is going to yell out, whore, or something. This will unfortunately follow her forever, and that makes me sad. I also think the dancing on the graves by all reality people right now has gone way overboard. No one is perfect, and we have all made mistakes, and those that are enjoying Raquel and Tom's downfall, y'all better never F up, because there will be a lot of sound clips to play back. Yeah, I think he's specifically referencing James Kennedy called Raquel and was like, oh, you really done messed it up this time. And that was dancing on her grave. You know, if you take the high roll, I think audiences will notice, oh, that person has grace in class. But again, this is a reality show. Who's got grace in class? Um, but, it, you know, you can, met, you can mess up, but do you need the whole world judging you for it? You know, as if we are better than anyone else. Blake posted this. How's the backyard coming? He says, it's been great, been awesome, and we actually have a final a, a number meeting with them next week. So he's doing this really nice backyard setup. This is a, obviously a rendering, I believe. A pool with like a little walking strip and some greens. I mean, it looks really nice. Uh, so don't forget to invite us over there, Blakeo. 
Someone asked, do you DJ for weddings? He says, um, I do if the vibe is right in the price. Yeah, I mean, there's always, I learned this in business in college, right? There's always a price for everything. I'll DJ your wedding for the right price. Do I know how to DJ? No, but if you're paying me the right price, sure. How did you meet your girlfriend? So we already know all that. They met on All Star Shore. All right, we get to the Bachelor content. Bachelor, Bachelorette is done. Agree? And of course, we know Blake has had his own issues. He said this after his season. When the show was airing, it just felt like every Monday and Tuesday night for four weeks, five weeks, I was just getting my dick kicked in. Like, I felt like I was just getting punched in the gut over and over and over, you know? I remember calling our producer at one point, and I was like, mercy. I was like, edit me out of the rest of the show. I'm going to freaking kill myself. And they helped me a little bit towards the end, but I was just like, I can't handle this anymore. So clearly... Blake has an experience that was of the villain variety, and not everybody gets it. Some become heroes, some become villains. It's really up to so many circumstances that are pretty far out of their control. And he, of course, has been sued for his sort of defense of his own character, um, you know, because, you know, by going on podcasts and saying, hey, this is where the edit was wrong. They, they edited me to look this way, but that wasn't the case. All things that have led him to vindicate himself, really, but, of course with the contract, which is predatory in nature, that he signed, they actually sued him and won. Um, so here's what Blake had to say. I think the show we know it as is definitely done. There have been some huge changes at the top, and now it even got bumped from the primetime slot on Mondays. This show is no longer the premier dating show on TV and never will be again. It was bound to happen. I mean, it had a 20-year run, which is insane. I'll tell you where I agree and disagree with Blake. I agree with him that the show we know it as is definitely done. It is not the only must-see TV that exists in the dating reality world. There's Love is Blind, 90 Day Fiance, 3 Day Handjob. There's a million different, whatever. I don't know. There's a ton of shows, right? Uh, maybe I made that last one up. Uh, uh, don't rub it the wrong way. Um, but either way, uh, the show is not going anywhere. And as we saw here, two black girls, one rose posted this. Y'all can thank the writer strike for the show finally coming to fruition. Yeah, not only is The Bachelor not done, it's releasing a new series, Golden Bachelor, which we've covered all week. It's got Golden Bachelor, Bachelor, Bachelorette, and Bachelor in Paradise. The show is is not going anywhere. And again, this is also, like I said, because of the writer's strike. It is reality TV, which has a market. It's a safe bet. It's basically like watching Jeopardy. Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune aren't going anywhere. They're cheap to produce. They fill up an hour of a network's time slot every single night. It's as good as gold. The show, Bachelor, Bachelorette, Bachelor in Paradise, as long as it doesn't get abysmal ratings or have some wild moment that causes crazy controversy, which um, gets advertisers to pull out, which won't happen. That's not going to happen. As long as that doesn't happen, the show isn't going anywhere for another five years. I mean, I you know we'll we'll look back on this and see, but uh, terrestrial TV, the way it all works, it's not you know there's only so many hours during the week that they have to fill, and it's kind of like newspapers. Every uh, you know newspapers is, are dying way faster than terrestrial TV, but you know there there are there's a time slot that has to be filled and there's only there's only so many shows that are you know NCIS or Law and Order season 29 or whatever that, and those take a lot more to film you know if you're Law and Order just to use in comparison Marissa Hardigay gets paid like $200,000 an episode versus the Bachelor, who gets paid $100,000 for the whole show, I'm sure, you know, Jesse Palmer gets paid a good chunk, but then all the contestants don't get paid at all. They shoot in very cheap locations. When they travel, they have a skeleton crew, which means they don't travel with as many people. This show is printing money. It probably has a higher profit ratio than some of the best TV shows that exist out there. I guarantee you, Succession on HBO doesn't make as much money as The Bachelor considering how low the expenses are. It ain't going anywhere. And I understand Blake wants the ship to sink. They've really messed with him, both financially and with his soul, and I totally get that. And I hope that changes do come as they have shuffled up the producers. I hope charity season really shows us a new uh, version of the show that really goes back to a feel-good show and not just drama for the sake of drama. But we'll have to see how it all plays out. Let me know. Do you guys think the show is done? Uh, it is barrel scraping season, so I'll tell you, we aren't getting as many views. I will be covering that on today's Bachelor Rush Hour podcast. How many uh, views the YouTube channel is getting right now? 
it ain't it isn't bad i mean it's still like almost a million views a month right now which is absolutely wild but of course that's because of you your loyalty and i appreciate everyone who's tuned in just to hear me rant even if we don't have too much to say that's part of the community and i appreciate it and um, we'll be live on patreon right after this <laughs> 